Welcome to the fitting and fabrication shop. First we will discuss layout and its types. The plan or design or arrangement of something laid out is called layout. These are characteristics of good layout. Now we will discuss different types of layout. Process layout. The layout which group resources based on the similar processes or functions is called process layout. This type of layout can be found in companies that use intermittent processing systems. A process layout is used in contexts where many different items are produced in small quantities. Product layout. When all the processing equipment and machinery are positioned according to the product sequence of operations, this type of layout is known as product layout. The main focus of product layout is the sequence of operations regarding the production or assembly needed for a product or some of its parts manufacturing and assembling. Combination layout. The advantages of both kinds of layouts are combined in a process and product layout. A combination layout is possible when an item is manufactured in multiple types and sizes. The machinery is grouped in a process layout, but the process grouping is then ordered in a sequence to make a variety of goods of different types and sizes. Fixed layout. The fixed layout permits a product to maintain at a particular place, and the needed resources like manpower, machinery, material, equipment, etc., are transported to the product's location. In other words, the place of the main element, or the product section remains fixed because of the larger size or substantial body. Safety precautions are important part of the laboratory. In shop area, it is necessary to wear safety glasses, face shields or cover goggles either working or not. Shoes must be worn in the shop area. No one wearing sandals or clippers in the shop area. You do not use any equipment unless you are familiar with it. You do not use any equipment without the permission of supervisor. No one can perform their work using power tools unless two people can see them. Don't wear jewelry, ties and loose clothes. Practice orderliness and cleanliness in shop area. Never tilt the hacks or blade while sawing. Drill the holes centralizing on pop marks. Give gradual feed. Do not use a spanner as a hammer. Do not use a steel rule as a screwdriver. Always wear lab coat while working in the lab to avoid loose clothing. Wear safety gloves while handling the metal sheets and sharp tools and to avoid electro cautions. Use appropriate tools as told by lab staff. After usage, submit the tools back in the lab. Get full knowledge before operating any machine or using any tool. Files must have well-fitted handles. See that workpiece is perfectly clamped or fixed in the vise. Never use hammers with loose heads. Use the coolant at the time of hacksawing and drilling. Keep the workplace neat and clean after work. In case of emergency immediately call the attendant. Now we will discuss machines used in the fitting and fabrication shop. Drill machine. The most widely used process of material removing or cutting process, in which the tool uses a drill bit to cut a hole of circular cross section in solid materials, 75% of all metal cutting material removed comes from the drilling operation. Sensitive drilling machine is a small machine designed for drilling small holes at a high speed in light jobs. They are capable of rotating drills of diameter from 1.5 to 15.5 millimeters. A large number of spindle speeds and feeds can accessible for various types of work. They are presented in different sizes and with drilling capacity range able to 75 mm diameter drills. Working. The hole is generated by the rotating edge of a cutting tool, which exerts large force on work clamp on the table. As the machine exerts vertical pressure on work clamp to drill hole it is called drill press. Holes may be produced by twist drill or flat drill, or by boring with one or more single point tools or cutters mounted in a bar or head. Power hacks or machine. It is used to cut across materials like metal and bone. It provides a vise for clamping the work and means for reciprocating a U-shaped frame, on which is mounted a straight steel hacks or blade that cuts when moving in one direction only. Each blade of the power hacks or is composed of 14 to 24 teeth per inch of the blade. Working. It has the same function as the saw machines is used to cut metal in the machine shop. Drawing a blade containing cutting teeth through the power hacksaw uses a reciprocating, back and forth, workpiece. 
The saw machine is faster and easier than hand cutting action similar to the one used in a hand hack saw. Double end pedestal grinder. It works on the same principle as the grinder that is mounted on a pedestal, which may be bolted to the floor or may sit on rubber feet. They are commonly used to hand grind various cutting tools and perform other rough grinding. Working they are used to sharpen high speed steel cutting tools used on the lathes and milling machines, deba, or used to remove surface imperfections and to work extremely hard materials. The grinding wheels are held between two flange discs. Arbor press. It is a small hand operated press. It is typically used to perform smaller jobs, such as staking, riveting, installing, configuring and removing bearings and other press fit work. It can be the mounted on a workbench. Working it is a compact machine with different parts working together to produce a press. The components of the arbor press include the ram, a recoil spring, a lever arm, an arm stop, the press call, and the arbor base. When using an arbor press, the item to be pressed is placed on the base and the lever arm is pulled down. Surface grinding machine. It is the conventional finish machining process used for producing a good surface finish on components. It is one of the widely accepted finishing operations because of its material removal capacity in a very small size of chips ranging from 0.25 to 0.5 mm. The abrasive particles presses on the surface of a grinding wheel will be acting as a single point cutting tools for removing material from the workpiece. Air compressor. An air compressor is a pneumatic device that converts power, using an electric motor, diesel or gasoline engine, etc., into potential energy stored in pressurized air. Working. Air compressors work by forcing air into a container and pressurizing it. Then, the air is forced through an opening in the tank, where pressure builds up. The compressed air can be used as energy as it's released. Pneumatic press. It is a machine using a pneumatic cylinder to generate a compressive force. Frame, pneumatic cylinder and press table are the main components of the pneumatic press with various attachments. Presses are one of the most commonly used machine tools in industry for the forming of different materials. Press break is typically narrow and long so that large pieces of sheet metal can be bent by it. Normally it contains pressure from 7 bar to 10 bar. Working. A press brake bends sheet metal by lowering a punch onto sheet metal that has been positioned on top of a die. The metal may be bent several times by a press brake until the desired form has been achieved. Pneumatic metal sheet shearing machine. The shearing tool is provided at end of the pneumatic cylinder rod. When compressed air is supplied by the DCV to double acting cylinder, due to pressure and force created by compressed air, causes shearing action of the sheet metal strips and HSS cutting blades. The sheet metal cutting machine works with the help of pneumatic double acting cylinder. The piston is connected to the moving cutting tool. It is used to cut the small size of sheet metal. Sheet bending machine. A machine for bending and straightening metal sheets and strips. Its purpose is to assemble a bend on a workpiece. It is stable in structure and simple is operation. It is really the device necessary for construction of ventilation duct. Sturdy construction. High operational fluency. Impeccable performance. Sheet shearing machine. A shearing machine is a one that is used for cutting sheet metal into desired shapes and sizes. One thing that makes these metalworking machines ideal for industrial shops is that the shearing process does not form chips or any residual material, reducing debris in the air and on the floor.